We have been watching students coming out of that high school. Officials have described as a mass casualty incident. Police everywhere. You can still hear sirens, the helicopters in the air. Well, since February 14th, my life has completely taken a 180. There has been a tremendous change, not only in just myself, but like, like physically, but also mentally. It's weird when you're in public because when you wear a Douglas shirt and then they see your leg and they ask, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, I'm okay, but this happened to me. I remember I sort of like looked down at myself because there was so much blood and I felt a weird feeling in my left arm and saw there was like a lot of blood in one area. So like I lifted my sleeve up and that's when I realized, oh, I may have been hit by a bullet. And the kids who were shot were Helena and Nick. I was sitting right next to them as the shooting was happening. And so they died essentially during the shooting. And then I got shot, but like only in my leg. There's two kids behind me and I was walking into the freshman building and behind them was the shooter. And that's when he started shooting and I was still in the hallway at the time. So I, I was obviously one of the first ones hit. Before the shooting, I was never politically involved, but I was politically aware. I haven't been the biggest fan of crowds. It's like I can't be in a big crowd. Like concerts, I haven't been to a concert, I don't even know if I want to go. For example, I went to the march in DC and I was really freaked out too. I ended up leaving Harley just because there were so many people. If I want to go to a beach, I can't wear my leg wrap and I have to take it off. So you can see that the indent in my leg and people just look and it's kind of like you can stare all you want. I can't change what happened to me. When I enter a place, I sort of look for where I can go in case of an emergency. Or sometimes I just see someone with a backpack and I think, do you think they can have a gun in there? That customer is getting really angry at the manager. Do you think they can do something? Like, it's never been like that until now. And it doesn't seem like it would be that big of a change, but it's a huge change in my life. Before anything, like, school shootings and shootings, like, it became so, like, normal to me and so like regular that like people would even joke about it. I was always told there's school shootings and that it's a common thing and then in communities, some communities, there's gun violence and after the shooting I'm like this is real, like this is happening. I guess a positive thing to look at is that I've become closer with my friends. I feel like there are people that are going to be in my life always. I think another thing that's changed ever since the shooting was like my, my want and will to want to make a difference. Anytime I hear there's a school shooting, I'm like immediately like I have to go there and I have to go help these people. Like after Santa Fe, I, I talked to my friend, I was like, we need to go to Texas, like we need to go there. As soon as you have one, it makes everything more of a reality than just news on a TV screen ever since the shooting, like, I want to be a part of the reason that our country will get better. I want to be part of that change because it affected me so greatly that I, I don't want anyone to go through what I went through, and it comes down to that, so.